Today, we are at the turning point in automobile, a turning point where people will embrace a new environmentally friendly car. That is a pleasure to drive. This isn't just another car engine. It's a rebellion against everything the electric revolution promised. While the world rushes to plug in, Toyota is quietly reviving something ancient in spirit, but revolutionary in form. The internal combustion engine. But this time, it doesn't burn petrol. It breathes hydrogen. No batteries, no silence. Just raw, mechanical power with zero carbon emissions. Why is Toyota betting big on this controversial path? Could it be the missing link between our fuel-guzzling past and a cleaner future? Or is it a bold challenge to Tesla's throne? Let's dive in. The legacy behind Toyota's bold move. Toyota has never been just another car maker. They've always been a step ahead, changing the industry without making noise about it. The Prius is a perfect example. When it first appeared, many doubted it. A quiet, fuel-efficient hybrid in a world obsessed with horsepower. And yet, it became the best-selling hybrid ever, turning Toyota into the face of clean mobility long before EVs took the spotlight. But as the world rushed toward electric vehicles, Toyota didn't follow blindly. Instead of racing Tesla and others to the top of the EV charts, they took a step back. Not because they feared the change, but because they questioned its foundation. EVs rely on massive batteries filled with rare earth minerals. Mining them is costly, often unethical, and anything but green. And while EVs emit nothing on the road, their production leaves a large environmental footprint. Toyota looked elsewhere. Their answer was hydrogen. Clean, abundant, and full of potential. With the launch of the Toyota Mirai, they began exploring fuel cell electric vehicles, cars that emit only water vapor. It wasn't about winning today's race. It was about building a future with fewer compromises. And now, they're taking it one step further, reviving the combustion engine, powered not by oil, but by hydrogen, breathing fire without fossil fuels. At first glance, Toyota's hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine doesn't seem groundbreaking. But beneath its familiar design lies a silent revolution. Instead of gasoline or diesel, this engine burns compressed hydrogen. The idea sounds simple, yet it rewrites decades of engineering assumptions. To make this work, Toyota didn't build something entirely new. They took their GR Yaris's 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine and transformed it. Stronger components, special fuel injectors for gas, not liquid, hardened valves, and most importantly, a heavily reinforced tank to safely hold the ultra-flammable hydrogen. It's like retrofitting a classic machine to breathe a completely different kind of air. And it works. The hydrogen combustion engine still sounds like a proper performance car. It still revs high, roars loud, and delivers real horsepower without any carbon dioxide emissions. It refuels in less than two minutes, putting even the fastest EV charging networks to shame. Toyota even teamed up with Yamaha to develop a 5.0-liter V8 version of this engine. It's not just a science project anymore. It's a serious attempt to keep the thrill of driving alive in a world drifting toward quiet electric motors. Why not just go fully electric? On the surface, going all in on electricity seems like the obvious future. EVs are clean, quiet, and efficient. But Toyota doesn't see the story as that simple. In fact, they've been openly skeptical about whether battery electric vehicles, BEVs, are the best long-term solution for everyone, everywhere. The first issue is infrastructure. Many regions around the world still lack stable electricity grids, let alone fast charging stations. In such places, hydrogen refueling might actually be more practical, especially if local production becomes easier. Then there's the environmental cost of mining lithium. 
cobalt, and nickel for EV batteries. It's a problem often overlooked in the race to electrify. Hydrogen combustion avoids those materials. It uses an engine that can be built with more common parts, easier to repair, and familiar to mechanics worldwide. And unlike EVs, which often require entire battery replacements after a few years, hydrogen-powered engines can last much longer with proper maintenance. Toyota also knows that people still love the feel of traditional driving. The sound, the vibration, the mechanical connection, it's hard to replace. Hydrogen combustion offers a way to keep that spirit alive without burning fossil fuels. It's a bold, alternative path. Now, first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The sound, the speed, the soul. There's something visceral about internal combustion. The rumble of the engine, the sudden burst of power, the mechanical feedback that connects the driver and machine. Electric cars, for all their benefits, often feel sterile by comparison. Smooth, yes. Fast, definitely. But quiet, too quiet. Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine brings that soul back. When you start the hydrogen-powered GR Yaris, it doesn't whisper, it growls. The engine revs high, sings under pressure, and delivers a raw mechanical experience. Even better, that sound isn't artificial. It's real combustion, real power, just without the carbon emissions. Petrol heads have been dreading a silent future. But Toyota's work with Yamaha is rewriting that future with symphonies of steel and fire. Their 5.0-liter V8 hydrogen engine is said to produce around 450 horsepower and rev up to 6,800 RPM. That's not an eco-friendly compromise. That's performance. And it's not just about fun. It's about emotion. Hydrogen combustion keeps the driving experience authentic while offering a cleaner path forward. It proves that sustainability doesn't have to come at the cost of character. For the first time in years, the future of green driving might just sound like music. The challenges no one can ignore. As promising as hydrogen combustion sounds, Toyota isn't navigating a smooth road. There are serious obstacles. The first is safety. Hydrogen is highly flammable and leaks easily. It's lighter than air, but can explode under the right conditions. That means fuel tanks must be reinforced like armored vaults. And even then, public trust takes time. Then there's the issue of nitrogen oxides. While hydrogen combustion doesn't produce CO2, the high combustion temperatures can still generate harmful NOx gases. Reducing this requires extra air in the combustion process, which lowers engine efficiency and power output. It's a delicate balance. Storage and transport are also tricky. Hydrogen must be compressed or liquefied, both of which require energy and specialized infrastructure. And unlike gasoline, hydrogen isn't just sitting underground waiting to be pumped. Producing it cleanly without relying on fossil fuels is still expensive. On top of that, hydrogen engines need heavy-duty parts that raise production costs. Currently, Building a hydrogen combustion vehicle costs more than both traditional cars and many EVs. Toyota knows this isn't a short-term game, but they're betting on long-term gains. And if they succeed, they won't just change cars. They'll change how we think about fuel, a future worth waiting for. Despite the hurdles, Toyota isn't backing down. They see hydrogen combustion as a long game one that could reshape mobility for decades to come. While the world focuses on lithium-ion batteries, Toyota is quietly building the groundwork for something different, something that doesn't rely on rare materials, something that feels alive under your hands. The key lies in time and technology. Just as early EVs were mocked for their short range and long charge times, hydrogen combustion engines are now facing their own growing pains. But Toyota is no stranger to slow revolutions. The Prius took years to catch on. Now, 
It's legendary. As hydrogen production becomes cleaner and cheaper, and as infrastructure improves, the practicality of these engines will only grow. The dream isn't just clean driving, it's driving with character, without guilt. And imagine the possibilities. Trucks that haul for days, sports cars that scream down highways, off-roaders that climb mountains, all without a drop of oil. That's the promise Toyota is chasing. It won't happen overnight, but revolutions rarely do. What matters is that someone is daring enough to build it, test it, and drive it forward. Toyota is doing exactly that. Could this topple Tesla's reign? Tesla may dominate the EV market today, but Toyota isn't trying to beat Tesla at its own game. They're changing the game entirely. While Tesla focuses on batteries, software, and over-the-air updates, Toyota is exploring a world where mechanical power, speed, and sustainability coexist. And that's not something EVs can easily replicate. Hydrogen combustion cars don't need massive battery packs, rare minerals, or hours of charging. They can be refueled in under two minutes and driven hard, just like traditional sports cars. That gives them a serious advantage in areas where EV infrastructure is still lacking or where people crave the thrill of a true engine. More importantly, Toyota is tapping into something emotional. Tesla may win on tech, but Toyota is betting on the soul of driving, the sound, the feel, and the connection between man and machine. Will hydrogen combustion wipe out EVs? Not soon, but it may carve out its own loyal following, especially among drivers who aren't ready to let go of everything they love about cars. In the long run, the market might not be a battle between EVs and hydrogen, it could be a coexistence. And Toyota is making sure it has a powerful voice in both. This might not be the revolution you expected, but it could be the one that lasts. While the world rushes towards silence and software, Toyota is reminding us that the road still belongs to machines that roar, not just hum. Hydrogen combustion isn't perfect yet. It's flawed, expensive, and risky. But so was every great idea in its beginning. What matters is that it dares to exist and dares to over a different future. One where power, sound, and sustainability aren't enemies. Will it succeed? Time will tell. But one thing's certain, Toyota just made the car world pay attention. Let's see where it goes.